What's up everybody? I've gotten some requests to show off my terminal and NeoVim setup, so that's exactly what I am going to do today. Okay, let's start. So we'll actually start outside of the terminal and on my GitHub, because this is where I have stored all of my configuration for the stuff I'm using. So we'll quickly run over this config one by one and you can get a good sense of how I've set this up to look like this. Okay, so we'll start off with the terminal, I think. That's a good place to start. So the terminal I use is called Kitty, and the reason I chose it is because it is fast. Like it says here, it's a GPU-based terminal emulator, and compared to other terminals I've used before, like iTerm, I actually do think this is... Uh, superior and also what i really like about it is that i've basically done zero config to get it working so we can actually start by showing that off so this is the terminal i can open a bunch of tabs i can close tabs i can navigate between tabs i can split windows i can move them around and yeah i can basically do uh, uh, whatever you would expect from a terminal which is super nice so I'll show you, show you its config. It's in my config folder, kitty, and there's just a single file. And in this file, there is a bunch of config, but actually every single line in this file is commented out, except one line, which I added at the bottom, which uh, I can move myself a bit, boom, which uh, is just uh, a new key map to add a fuzzy search. So that's something I've added. I've added this fuzzy search i will link it in the description and that allows me to search using Control f and i can here find whatever like yeah, okay i know there's a background what's it called background opacity opacity it's called yeah background opacity you can see that this is okay this is actually set to one meaning i don't want uh, my terminal to be transparent and yeah that's basically it for kitty that's the, my only config adding the fuzzy search mm, okay you know what i might have added these custom uh, tab bars now that i think about it but then again it might also be default you can double check in my config folder if you want to one last thing I'll add on Kitty is the font I'm using. So this is actually the standard uh, San Francisco font from Apple SF. I really like it, only the mono version. Now to get every single character that you might encounter uh, when you spend most of your time in the terminal, uh, you would want to use a patched font, as they call it. So I found this project, SF Mono Nerd Font Ligaturized, which uh, I installed and I'm using and I've been super happy with it. Except that I hate uh, ligaturized fonts. I think it's uh, yeah, it's not for me. So I've disabled the ligaturization. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but that's what I've done, or I think I've done. Okay, next up we have my shell, which per now is fish. So a shell is the way you actually interact with your computer. So whenever I run a command, I'm telling the shell to do this. Now, the reason I went with fish is because it's super fast. Earlier, I used setch, which I was happy with until I checked the performance difference. So, okay, check this out. So this is my old shell. Okay, you see that? Pretty fast. This is fish. Holy <laughs> shit. Huge difference, right? I at least think so. If I hold uh, enter, you can see, blah, blah, blah. okay, it's starting to fail on me. If I do the same here, blazing fast, no problem. So I've been really happy with the speed and it actually feels a lot snappier than what I was using earlier. The only problem is that this is not a POSIX compliant shell, which happens to be super annoying whenever you come across uh, something you thought was going to work. So we can actually quickly jump into my fish config. Okay, so what do I have? So I've added a couple of things, like this custom greeter, which I really like. I did not draw this fish, I found it somewhere. I will be sure to link it in the description as well. And uh, yeah, I think it looks uh, pretty cool. I also customized the prompt to look exactly like the one I used on ZCH. So yeah, I can close this and uh, actually show you some of the stuff. Okay, so what do we actually have here? Well, we have my config, which looks like this. 
very little has been done, which is also, yeah, that's also one of the selling points for me with Fish is that the config is super minimal. It basically works perfectly straight out of the box, except that I disabled auto suggestions as I don't really like them. Now I also added this Fish script to make Docker desktop work. And now here's my gripe with Fish. I mentioned it wasn't POSIX compliant, right? And that makes stuff like this super annoying to debug sometimes where you don't really know what the problem is and then you realize, ah, fuck, I'm using fish for my shell and that is 99% the cost. So a lot of head scratching goes uh, with the use of fish. But the thing for me is that I'm mostly only using this computer. So now I've gotten quite used to it. But if my daily responsibilities involved uh, managing servers and other computers, I would stay the hell away from fish. It would be too confusing to switch between the fish shell and uh, standard bash. Okay, that's fish. Next up and last but not least, my NeoVim setup. Okay, so let's jump into my NeoVim config folder and check what the fuck is going on here. Okay, first of all, I also got this custom prompt uh, with some ASCII art. Very cool, it's a beer. I kind of wanted to animate it for a while, but I haven't really gotten around to doing it. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's check out what is going on. So this is a total custom config that I set up sometime two years ago or so, I think, and uh, it's been serving me very nicely. So I set it up to be very minimal and only really using this stuff that I actually feel like I need. So I think the most um, interesting stuff will just be to look at the plugins that I'm using and yeah, basically go through the ones that I find noteworthy. So package management. I use Packer. If I were to do this again, I would probably use Lazy like everybody's doing, but I'm too lazy to migrate over to Lazy and yeah, I don't really have a problem with Packer. I also have Mason for installing language servers. So I can open Mason if I'm ever in a new language that I don't have support for and I can install uh, language servers from here, which is super nice. This is a custom plugin I'm trying to write, not done yet. Yeah, I have Twilight, which is kind of cool. Twilight and something called Zen Mode. So if I hit leader ZM, I jump into this super Zen mode, right? <laughs> okay, anyways. I, uh, I got tabs, I got the uh, file explorer on my side that I easily can toggle, which is uh, NVIM3 right uh, here which is good. What else do I have? Yeah, I use uh, Telescope for fuzzy searching, so that I've been very happy with. I can search for both uh, normal text and I can also search for file names very quickly, jump between those. That is great. Yeah, other than that, um, that's pretty much it. I tried using uh, Neorg right here. It's uh, a note-taking plugin for a while, but never really got around to uh, sticking with it. I'm kind of happy with having a minimal plugin and um, yeah, I don't really have to do everything in NeoVim like some people do. So this serves me very well. Now, I hope this video made some sense at least. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to respond. And also feel free to check out uh, the config yourself. You can try to use it if you want to. That would be super cool. And yeah, that's basically it. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Bye-bye.